Today we're comparing the world's most exclusive first class costing $21,000 to the current world's most expensive of $43,000. And right now we're arriving to the $21,000 airplane seat in a freaking Audi. And entering the aircraft, my mind is blown. With seeing that the food is literally curated by the world's best chef, but there's not one but three amenity kits, and this is literally just to start with later experiencing the current world's most expensive seat costing $43,000. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my seat. And like I said, this is the world's most exclusive first class not only because of the privacy of the floor to ceiling shades, which is so cool by the way, but also this seat feels like almost a mini apartment with not only having one seat, but right across from you a second. That also of course doubles as an amazing footrest. Over here having this huge amount of storage space, like I could literally fit my arm in there. Of course a plug, the second secret compartment having of course the table, which is insanely big and as you'll see later has the best dinner out of any air carrier. And in secret compartment number three, we have a beautiful amount of storage space again, and this PSP like remote, which is connected to the absolutely massive TV, which has an absolutely ridiculous selection of 265 different movies and 245 TV shows. Also, there's different games you can play, listen to music, or just watch the camera outside. Now, probably the thing I was most excited for in this suite was the seat itself, which has a complete control pad over here with a ridiculous amount of functions you can choose from. For example, chill out mode, of course, the bed mode, and of course, meal mode, which as you'll see soon, is the best meal on any aircraft. This seat is absolutely blowing my mind, and we still haven't seen the $1,000 stuff that we get for free. So, amenity bag number one, two, and three. And let me tell you, your minds are about to be blown with what's inside. For example, in amenity bag number one, it's not only an insanely beautiful bag, like, this bag is 100% leather and already is something free that costs a lot of money. But let's check out what's inside. First thing, we have some sort of luxurious hydration cream, anti-wrinkle serum, some smooth eye care, and some nourishing hand serum. Next, we have, of course, a wooden comb. It's pretty nice, I'm gonna keep that. Of course, a beautiful eye mask, a beautiful pen, and some earplugs. Now, in amenity bag number two, we of course have the pajamas which just feel luxurious. Of course, we have really beautiful slippers and socks here. And also we have denim headphones. I literally cannot believe what I'm experiencing right now. And we haven't even experienced the most exclusive part of the seat yet. Okay, now when booking this ticket, probably the thing I was most excited for was the food. You see, Air France takes dining to a completely new level, with a menu crafted literally by the world's best and top-ranked chef who currently runs a three Michelin star restaurant. Hello! <laughs> Are you ready for you? I'm ready. Ah, uh, here we go. Small caviar. Oh my gosh, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. First course of the caviar, which is served on this beautiful little plate with some cream underneath and then a heap load of caviar. Literally mind blowing. This is getting started off right. Oh wow. Course number two is literally one of the most expensive foods in the world of foie gras, which is served with a beautiful jam on the side and the cutest little baguette I've ever seen. Now, keeping up with like that world best chef vibe, every meal is paired with a specific wine. This is a special meal right here. the most beautiful looking salad I've ever seen. <laughs> we have an absolutely stunning salad. Like never have I ever seen a salad with duck in it. And of course, like all other courses, it's paired with a specific wine. You know the meal service is next level when they have a freaking topper on your main course. In front of us is a beautiful roast of veal, little tiny cut potatoes topped with fried onions and sun-dried tomatoes. And of course, on the side, we have yet another different wine. I am the newest fan of veal treat. <laughs> We've literally just reached the halfway point of the meal. Oh, whoa. That is a lot of options to choose from. <laughs> Could I just have a tiny bit of each of them? Sure. Okay, so for our sixth course, we have an insane grouping of cheeses. On this platter, we have some goat cheese, brie, blue cheese, conte, and some soft sheep cheese. I love cheese. This ah, one is the wow. Centonoe, okay. and this one is the one with the fig. Okay. 
Okay, so for course number seven, we have the most epic, the most beautiful dessert I've ever seen on an aircraft. Of two absolutely stunning cakes, of one being almost like a fancy cream puff, and the second being a fig tart with gold on top. Now also served with the cakes is a freaking beautiful sorbet, again served with a topper. It's like a French bakery in the sky. My bed, which I gotta say is definitely the most beautiful bed I've ever had on an aircraft. With having not only just the beautiful duvet here, but also a full-blown mattress. And then the pillow too is super comfy. So with my own personal airplane room, wine in my hand, and literally the most comfy bed I've ever felt, there's only one thing to do. I'm on my second movie now, and something cool about Air France is they have 24-7 snack room service of literally whatever you want. And I know the last meal was absolutely insanely big, but we gotta live it up. Come on now. Wow, this is the best snack possible. Yeah, <laughs> thank you for the surprise. Sitting in front of us is 100% the most fancy snack I've ever had of an absolutely stunning plate of scallops, and then for dessert, a poached pear. So sitting here in my bed with the fanciest snack I've ever had. This was one of the best experiences, not only on an aircraft, but of my life. But ladies and gentlemen, we are just getting started. Now we're boarding the $43,000 airplane seat that's literally one won the world's best first class award for having what experts call a five star hotel experience in the sky, with having a first class like no other, with being in the nose of the aircraft, and having some of the largest amount of space per seat I've ever seen, with having an ottoman at the back, which unlike Air France, you can move back and forth to put your feet on, and of course that doubles as a huge storage bin. And the entire seat also has a bunch of secret storage places, with in one of the places having a control pad like no other I've ever seen being able to, of course, do the normal features like lie flat, relaxed, and dining positions, but also you can freaking customize everything in your seat. For example, if you want to extend the leg rest, change the seat height to match your height, tip the seats back into a zero gravity position, or even adjust your entire headrest. Of course, this seat has a perfect amount of plugs, great entertainment options, but probably the thing that excites me the most is the feeling of being almost in an exclusive club. You see, since we're in the nose of the plane, that means no one passes through here. And because of that, all throughout the flight, you have access to this super cool bar where you can serve yourself drinks or luxury snacks. Now, Air France amenities were good, but here in Lufthansa, they supposedly have the best in the world. For example, your headphones are the best bows you can buy, which is definitely a statement. And along with the headphones, you have these three amenity kits of the first being branded PJs of Van Lack, with having, of course, a top, some pants, but also, surprisingly, a scarf, costing hundreds of dollars, along with slippers that aren't your normal one-use slippers. However, probably the bag that puts this one over Air France is the pricey Van Lack bag that's made to look like a fancy goodie bag and filled with, wait for it, La Perie products, which is the world's most luxurious skincare, and then all your basic essentials of an eye mask, toothbrush, and socks. So 9 out of 10 for these amenities, and we are locked into a pretty strong battle, and we haven't even taken off yet. Taking off is when the true magic of Lusthansa begins, with first being offered two of the best champagnes in the world, along with the first course of not being one, but two servings of caviar. You see, what's really unique about Lusthansa's caviar service is since they're the largest purchaser of caviar in the world, they often offer seconds on caviar, which yes, I definitely took advantage of. <laughs> Anyway, for course number two, we had a variety of different appetizers from pan-seared scallops with grilled prawns made with a side of papaya salad, and along with that, a black pepper crusted duck breast, which of course, you gotta eat with some bread. However, the course that truly made this meal magical was the third, with being a perfectly made steak with a side of some white onions, baby spinach, and crushed potatoes with olive oil, being literally the best steak I've ever had in an airplane, like I literally scraped my plane clean. For the fourth course, we 
had a nice selection of cheeses of different soft and hard cheese with different dried fruits to eat it with. And of course, for dessert, a warm, delicious apple crumble with ice cream, served with the nicest teapot I've ever seen in an airplane. And the meal was good, but probably my favorite thing on this entire airplane experience came when they made the largest and longest bed out of any aircraft, being a full 6.5 feet or two meters long with details I've never seen before on a first class bed, which although being pretty tired from all this travel, I mean, I had to stay up and enjoy every minute of this. So after watching two more movies in my private movie theater, of a seat, I was offered probably the most epic four-course breakfast of any airplane I've ever had, with the first course that can only be described as a pastry selection, with having a croissant, an apple turnover, some fruit, and a big bowl of delicious granola, with on the side, of course the star of the show, Nutella, that of course was followed up by a full plate of fancy smoked salmon and bread that non-surprisingly was followed with a massive plate of different meats and cheeses, and for the main course being a massive plate of delicious eggs and bacon. So the food being a solid 9 out of 10, and bed as well, 9 out of 10. Which means, although I love Dustanza, Air France was not only cheaper, but definitely the better first class of this video.